I'm delighted to speak to one of the representatives of the host country, Switzerland. It is uh, Mr. Philippe Metzger, who's the Director General of Ofcom, the Office of Communication. Hello. Good morning. Oh, well, it's lovely to see you here. Um, obviously, Ofcom is uh, entirely uh, the most appropriate body to be here. Uh, tell me a bit about your involvement with regards to multilateral uh, international organizations and processes such as WESIS. Well, as uh, the Federal Office of Communications, we are part of the uh, Ministry uh, of Infrastructure, by and large, including uh, communications and ICT. And, uh, of course, we are in charge of making sure that Switzerland uh, can make itself heard uh, in the different fora and, indeed, uh, international organizations that are dealing with ICTs uh, and with the promotion uh, of the information society, including the Internet governance. Now, Switzerland, as a relatively small country in the centre of Europe, does this mean that, in a way, you're more agile, you're more able to take advantage of, uh, of new technologies as opposed to larger countries with huge populations? Well, I think if we look at the different indicators, how ICTs are, are being used uh, for the benefit of, of society and, and, and business, I think we're doing well. Um, but, of course, on the other hand, especially when you talk about network economies, there's always an aspect of economies of scale. And so I think we have to balance that. On the one hand, yes, we are agile because we're uh, relatively small. We have a close contact to stakeholders. We can uh, uh, adopt or shift policies uh, relatively efficiently uh, in a di on a dialogue-based approach. Uh, but on the other hand, of course, we are a market that's relatively small. And so I think we have to uh, we have to that challenge to pick up. But overall, I think we're pretty satisfied the way we are doing with regard to ICT development and the status of the information society. And as an advanced wealthy country, obviously you have an advantage over uh, less developed countries, but are you satisfied with the progress that's been made or do you think that Switzerland can do more, can be even more of a leader in the future? I think we're trying to be extremely uh, committed to, to these processes, including of course the process we're here uh, discussing here today, WISIS uh, and the WISIS Plus 10. You know that the first phase of WISIS took place uh, in Geneva in 2003. And so um, we are again, as a small country, also a small administration. And uh, my colleagues and I are working extremely hard to make sure we can cover uh, as many international activities uh, as there are and not only cover them, but actually shape them and uh, try to help find common solutions because the ecosystem within which we're operating has become incredibly complex over the last uh, few years. Well, let's talk now about the Geneva Internet Platform. Can you tell us more about that? Now, precisely picking up on the, on the complexity of the ecosystem when it comes to the world of Internet, um, I think our aim is maybe I can put it into, very, into a very uh, catchy phrase, our aim is to, to provide a silo breaker in a sense, because in a very complex ecosystem, you have many different processes, you have many different stakeholders, you have many different institutions uh, with their own governance. Um, and I think crossing the lines of all those different components um, ultimately has to be a goal of all of us because we have to work together. Uh, it's not good enough anymore as a government just to put out ordinances and put out uh, orders uh, from the tall horse. You really have to engage with the stakeholders, including civil society. And I think what we're trying to do with the Geneva Internet Platform is provide a tool for all those parties, regardless whether they are from uh, developed or developing countries. Of course, we will also want to make sure that developing countries can get the know-how they need, but we want to try to be really inclusive, promote and put a platform at the disposal of everybody to speak to each other, understand what's at stake, understand each other's policies, understand each other's processes. So it's really a neutral platform. It's not at all to spur or to advocate one position or the other. It's really to ensure a maximal transparency. I think transparency is a very important aspect in the entire discussion about the information society and help uh, hopefully all the actors who are already in Geneva because we have many agencies, many companies, many NGOs who, that are in Geneva uh, provide a platform for them, but also delegates who are, or, or travelers, business travelers who are dealing with information society and ICTs who are in town to profit from that, from that flat platform. Philippe Mezger, thank you very much and enjoy the rest of the conference. Thanks.